Hi everyone and welcome back to my vlog. I uh, haven't been on for a while so I just thought I'd pop on today to join in with a vlogging uh, hashtag that's just been um, set up by um, it's Laura the Specky Seamstress and JJ at Camden Stitch. Um, I will pop their links in below and basically the idea is that uh, any sewing vloggers can join in. Um, they've come up with 40 questions and the idea is to pick 10 of them and just let everyone know a little bit more about you and um, so I'll start off first of all I've actually got my sewing assistant with me here today who is very friendly as you can see uh, doesn't come and sit by me very often but uh, yeah she's just jumped up so I'll uh, leave her to uh, clean herself and um, so first question is where are you from so um, I live in um, the West Midlands uh, probably about 10 miles outside of Birmingham um, lived here pretty much all my life within the same sort of five mile radius. Uh, I've got my family all close by and my husband's family all close by. So yeah, really like uh, living here. Um, yeah, nice neighborhood. So number two, how and when did you start to sew? So I've been sewing for a couple of years now. Um, I started by going to a local sewing class, which is called Sew With Holly. Um, where I learned to, I did some bunting, I did um, a little tote bag and then a little roll up makeup bag and basically did that and I was hooked. So came home, bought myself a cheap machine off eBay uh, which I've now upgraded. Um, I got the um, Tilly and the Buttons Love at First Stitch and yeah, that's pretty much how I started. Um, question three. When you aren't sewing, what are you doing? So, another of my hobbies is cycling. So I'm part of a local um, leisure cycling group. I'm a ride leader, so I try to go out at least once a week. Uh, and then we do some sort of weekends away um, cycling. Uh, we're supposed to be going camping soon. I know I, we didn't go this weekend, but a group of them went uh, this weekend. I, we couldn't do it because it was my son's 18th birthday. And... Yeah, I think they nearly all got blown away actually, so yeah, glad we missed that one. Uh, number four, where do you sew? So, currently I sew at my kitchen table. I've pretty much got things everywhere. I, my, my sewing machine pretty much lives on the kitchen table. Um, I have to pack it away if we've got guests, but when it's just the five of us around, uh, I just push it to the end of the table and... Uh, we eat at the other end of the table. Uh, I've got fabric in the bedroom, uh, bits in the spare room, uh, bits in the conservatory, yeah, pretty, pretty much everywhere has got fabric or some bit of a sewing related memorabilia <laughs> lying around. So yeah, yeah, it's not ideal, but uh, until we've actually got a room that I can use, uh, yeah, that's how it is. <coughs> How do you store your patterns? So I, I tend to buy mostly I tend to buy mostly paper patterns and I've tried various methods but the easiest way I find of storing is I try to form my patterns, roll them up and keep them in these um, postage tubes. And then we've got a IKEA unit in the kitchen which it's supposed to be for my husband's uh, vinyl record and all his um, uh, CD player uh, turntable and all that sort of stuff. But I, I am slowly taking it over. So, yeah, um, I, I could do do more space. Um, Favourite place to buy fabric? That's question number seven. Um, I do go to, we've got a rag market, a uh, Birmingham rag market close to us, so that's very handy and if I want something cheaper or if I'm testing out patterns or you can actually get some very nice fabrics from there as well actually. Um, I do tend to shop a lot online and probably, there's a few shops I use, but probably my favourite would be um, Satisfaction. Uh, I think Shona who runs those factions is a really lovely lady. I've, I've met her once. We, we went over there last uh, year, and I was I was I was quite um, impressed that we walked through the door and she actually knew who I was because um, she follows me on Instagram. I follow her on Instagram, 
and she recognised me from my profile picture and the many pictures of my um, makes that I post over on there. So, yeah, um, I, I just love her video. She does a, a, a vlog very often and she does blogs and, yeah, so, yeah, that's probably my favourite online shop. Um, question eight, printed or PDF? Um, I'm very much into printed patterns. Uh, when I first started sewing, um, the idea of doing PDFs actually terrified me. I have actually made things using PDF patterns now um, and it's not half as difficult as I thought it was going to be. But I think I'm quite old fashioned and I just, I just like the idea of having the actual package with the actual patterns in and all the instructions. It's, it's like it's like books. Uh, my husband's very much uh, e-readers and uh, off his tablet, but I very much like to hold a physical book if I'm going to do any reading. So, yes, yeah, just that's my preference. Uh, question nine: favorite pattern company? If you could only sew their patterns forever, <laughs> that's a really difficult one. Um, I think I'd probably have to say Tilly and the Buttons. Um, it's what I started off with, and I've probably well, I've got both of the, both of the books, and probably pretty much all of their patterns. Um, probably two or three that I haven't got, but uh, yeah, um, definitely a firm favourite. And it, every pattern that I've used that's um, from her patterns, I've I've enjoyed making and I've, I've found the instructions easy to follow and it's my style so yeah that would be that one and then most used pattern uh, which isn't actually to lean the buttons probably the thing that I've made most of and I've got ooh, seven or eight in my um, wardrobe is the uh, Nina Lee Southbank sweater dress um, this time of year I don't tend to wear them but I've in the winter, I pre pretty much live in South Bank sweater dresses. So yeah, I've got I've got quite a good collection, and I can't guarantee I won't be making any more. And then the last question is totally unrelated to sewing. It's current box set. So we've actually just finished watching our latest box set, which was a series called The Americans, which we watched over on Amazon Prime. Uh, I think it's a fairly old series, probably three or four years old maybe, but uh, yeah, it's, um, I think there was six seasons, and yes, I could highly recommend it. It's um, Basically, it's about uh, a, a couple of Russian people who are KGB agents, and they go and live in America undercover. Nobody knows their agents. And then they have a FBI agent moving over the road from them. They become friends, but I won't say any more than that, but it's, yeah really really good well worth watching and it's got a good good end as well because I hate watching something I've, when you've invested hours and hours of watching something and it has a terrible ending so yeah definitely recommend that one uh, another favourite um, is I'm a bit of a Walking Dead fan um, yeah a uh, couple of seasons I haven't found so good the, the, the first probably five seasons I was absolutely addicted and I think it went off the boil a bit and now I think we're up to season I think season eight's just finished and yeah really enjoyed that season so me and my middle son we're big fans my husband he used to like it but he's gone up it now he won't, he won't watch it he walks out the room from watching it but yeah I'm, I'm a bit of a walking dead addict um, so yeah so hope that's answered those questions well um, and if anyone wants to join in I will Put a list of all the questions down below and uh, you don't have to be tagged just uh, feel free to join in and put the hashtag um, so many questions and I think that's how people pick it up uh, so I hope you've enjoyed that little insight into me and meeting my lovely friendly oh she's not biting me now she does quite often bite <laughs> but uh, yeah she's not she's not a not a vicious bite she's just very she's just very playful and I think she thinks that uh, biting is fun, don't you? Yeah. So, yeah. So, I'm hopefully, I'm hoping to put up a makes video very shortly. So, um, hope to see you all again soon. And, um, 
yeah that's it from me then thank you bye